Hey you guys, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a favorites video. Favorites and fails, actually. I have two big fails this month. Two big disappointments from two uh, ones. Well, I feel like one brand's kind of always hit or miss for me, but the other, other product is from one of my most favorite brands. So that was a big bummer. I'll talk about those in the end, but most of the video is gonna be really good things. We got a cleanser to talk about that I'm loving, this powder sunscreen, two moisturizers that I absolutely love and I cannot get enough of, and actually some, uh, oh, some foundation too, and jewelry. And which, by the way, today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. And I worked with Ana Luisa, I believe it was last year around this time, I think I think it was for the Black Friday sale as well, but I have some beautiful pieces from them that I can't wait to share with you guys. So yeah, without further ado, we'll just go ahead and get right into it. First off, let me say, if I sound congested or out of breath, I'm sorry about that. I have this cold that just started a few days ago. I hope it's nothing, but hopefully it's not too distracting. I went back and forth about filming today, but I think I'm okay. I think, I think we can get through this. But all right, let's get into the jewelry first. Oh my gosh, I love Ana Luisa so, so much. I'm all about dainty gold pieces and especially gold pieces that are actually good quality and that don't tarnish. That is my biggest issue when it comes to these finer pieces of jewelry, especially ones that are gold plated. A lot of these gold plated pieces, you know, even though they're plated with gold, they still can wear away and tarnish. But every piece I've had from Ana Luisa has held up so well. There's there's an upside down bullhorn that I wear in most of my videos. I've had that piece for over a year and it looks just as brilliant as when I first started using it. I still love that piece so much. But they did send out three um, new pieces to me and I am so excited for especially, so this ring is, it looks really kind of unassuming, but I just love it. It's like a box chain ring. It, I feel like that box chain is really in right now. It's simple, but I feel like it still makes a statement, but yet it's still really dainty. Just a really pretty piece to wear every day. I just love it. It's actually, it's pretty loose too. It's not really tight fitting, which I appreciate with my sausage fingers, man hands over here, but no, I just, I love this piece so much. And then this necklace, I cannot get enough. I think this is so beautiful. This is the Michelle set. It's a layered necklace set. And first of all, what I love about their layered necklaces is the fact that they're not all clasped together. Like you can actually wear them individually. So you really are getting your money's worth. I think my favorite piece that I'm going to wear a ton is this uh, gold coin. It's just so beautiful. And I feel like the chain is really unique. It's just so pretty. It's so just bam in your face but still like a wearable everyday piece at the same time i just think it's so pretty and then also these earrings are going to be my new like everyday earring to wear there are these beautiful little huggy gold earrings they hug the earlobe just so perfectly it's the perfect size i feel like i've been looking for the size for the longest time they look fancy but yet they're wearable they're so they look like real diamonds they're so gorgeous i have to show you guys a picture of these against the ones i used to wear oh my gosh these earrings are kind of haggard looking the rhinestones like falling out i'm like what the heck was i thinking wearing these earrings but you can just tell how just brilliant these look because they just are so gorgeous and shiny and uh, just so beautiful i just love their pieces so so much but the reason they're sponsoring this video is they just wanted to get the word out about their black friday sale definitely check them out they have some great sales going on actually all the time every time i feel like i click on that site there's something going on the pieces are definitely on the higher end but still very affordable but you're getting your money's worth and the coolest thing is all their gold is recyclable sustainable gold so they're really doing their part for the environment and they're, they're just a great company i just cannot get enough of their pieces i just think everything is so beautiful so yeah these are all ah, new favorites for the month i just love all these pieces so so much so all right so that's the jewelry next up let's talk about some skincare so a new favorite cleanser this is another one that i mentioned on my instagram page be sure to follow me over there i just wrote a review on the you to the people cleanser it's called the superfood cleanser i'm loving that cleanser as well this one by biasense is a little bit more heavy duty and a little bit more moisturizing than that one this is absolutely gorgeous so this is the bison squalene and elderberry jelly cleanser it's it has a high component of squalene in here so you're getting that like buttery smoothing consistency it just is so moisturizing on the skin it comes out and it's almost like a thick jelly bomb you can see it's, it's pretty stiff 
And the cool thing is, if you're wearing waterproof makeup, they actually say to not damp your face first, to just apply this to dry skin. And when you do that, it really does like emulsify on the skin and you can almost feel it like grabbing all the dirt and impurities off your face. It really does such a good job with cleansing. And as you rub it onto your skin, there's no lather. I'm not gonna see a white lather right now because I don't have water on my hands. But when you add water, it develops into this like milky, kind of foam-like, but there's no bubbles, just this milky lather. It's just so rich on the face, really nourishing. It just feels so good. Um, I did hear, read a couple reviews that people didn't like the fact that it almost like because it's so thick, I guess people felt like it like tugged on their skin. But I feel like in a way it almost it you like I said, it grabs everything and you really feel like it's doing a good job with cleansing, but yet it's not stripping the skin. This leaves my skin so smooth and moisturized and just feeling nourished and plump. Especially if you have dry skin, it has such a gorgeous, like nourishing consistency. It's so moisturizing on the skin, and I loved how I love how smooth it makes my skin. And this gets off like heavy makeup. The one day I just, I wanted to see what was doing with this cleanser. So I really just went ham with my makeup that day. I literally applied makeup and then just to wash it off. I put like heavy duty dark eyeshadow and ColourPop glitter, like their pressed glitters on my eyes. And maybe I'll try and do an insert so you guys can see how well this washes off. But it really broke down everything around my eyes. And it does, it takes a little bit to get everything off. You kind of have to like work it in, but it does rinse off cleanly and yeah, I didn't really feel like I needed a second cleanse. It is just a super, it's such a nice nourishing cleanser. I'm so excited about this, especially for the winter. I think this is going to be great. So yeah, this is definitely a favorite for the month. And then next up is this hair oil. So this is by Verb. Verb is sold at Sephora. I love this oil so much because it's a thicker oil. It's not super thin. You guys know I've talked a lot about it the Olaplex oil, how that stuff is just too thin. It doesn't coat my hair. This smooths down the hair strands and it really just conditions the hair. It's filled with these really nice oils. There's Moringa oil in here, um, sunflower seed oil, rice bran oil. There's also argon seed oil. So really nice things in here and it makes the hair so shiny. And I like how it's thick, but it's not, it doesn't weigh down the hair at all. It still feels really lightweight. You still yeah, see how it kind of like made my hair look PC in a way like it gave it some texture but it still makes it look like nice and shiny and healthy I just love this oil so much and it smells nice and light and fresh it's so beautiful I just went through that pie shoe that it's called the biphasic infusion that's another beautiful like hair serum um, so I've been using this up and I'm really excited to start using it also too if you guys are looking for a good dry shampoo their dry shampoo comes in a powder form it is beautiful it's super lightweight and it's it's pretty affordable I believe it's like 15 to 18 dollars a lot cheaper than the way dry shampoo anyway but that is something from their line that I always repurchase I, I love that stuff also but yeah I'm excited about this hair oil again it's just feels so good in the hair and it makes your hair look so shiny so definitely another favorite for the month okay and then this is kind of a surprising favorite you guys heard me talk about this recently but the Ole Henriksen banana bright eye cream I don't know why but I was so against this for the longest time when you look at the ingredient list there's all these extracts like orange extract lemon extract it smells like citrus I'm like yeah I don't know if I want that underneath my eyes but I will tell you, this stuff is so brightening underneath the eyes and I love the formula. It's really rich and just silky underneath the eyes. It spreads really nicely. It works well with concealer. It looks nice on its own. Actually, I've been wearing this on a daily basis if I'm going makeup free and it just does so much for your complexion. It just really opens up the eyes. It is beautiful. So I feel bad that I looked down on this. I do wish there was no fragrance in here. There is no room for fragrance in eye products i do not understand why companies are doing this but i will say i have not had any irritation from this but just be careful if you do have sensitive eyes because there's a pretty strong citrus smell with this but i love that glow it gives you see how it kind of has like this nice shine it's just so pretty and it just melts into the skin so nicely um it's not going to be you know a deep puffing eye cream or an anti-wrinkle eye cream there's not like any crazy skin changing ingredients in here but it really does hydrate the under eye and it makes the under eye look so bright and i love that i guess it's slightly peachy color to balance out those bluish tones underneath the eyes it's just 
beautiful. I do really love this. I'm sorry I looked down on this, but you guys are right. I know a lot of people have recommended this to me and I kind of just look the other way, but I'm definitely excited about this one. Ole Henriksen did send this out, out to me and I'm excited about it. All right, and then some moisturizers. The first one that I've been loving is by Dear Claire's. This is their Fundamental Water Gel Cream. This is beautiful. So this has some really nice hydrators in here. There's also niacinamide and green tea to brighten, panthenol and nice emollient slash humectant to bring water into the skin. Just so many beautiful ingredients. It, it is fragrance free. But if you look at this, it has such a unique texture. Do you see how it's kind of like a runny gel lotion? It's kind of... It's not very stiff, but it is beautiful. It sinks into the skin so nicely, it absorbs quickly. It leaves such a beautiful dewy finish to the skin. This is perfect if I just want a little extra hydration at the end of the night or even just in the morning as a day cream. It works well with serums. It is just so beautiful on the skin. I love this stuff so much. Definitely not super heavy if you're really dry. I think I'll be reaching for something a little bit heavier in the winter, but it's a perfect everyday moisturizer. I just, I love it. I just love that unique, almost like pudding-like like texture. It's really cool. So yeah, that is a new favorite moisturizer. And then my go-to nighttime moisturizer recently has been by Pharmacy. This is their Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This, again with the formula, I can't get enough of this. It has this thick, rich, buttery texture that sits so nicely on the skin. It's so occlusive and creamy. It just makes your skin so smooth and hydrated. It seals everything in. It works great at the end of your routine. It just works well with any serum. It's beautiful, so hydrating. Um, it's definitely heavy, so I think this would work well for normal to dry skin, but it is just so beautiful. It does have kind of like a light, warm honey scent to it. I've heard people say that they're not fond of the smell, but to me, it's not really offensive and it's really light and I do feel like it's soothing. My husband actually suffers from eczema pretty bad and he can get pretty dry like rough red patches and he said this really calms the skin if anything so it seems like it's a really soothing and it's so so moisturizing and i love that it has ceramides in here so it's going to help with repairing your skin's barrier keeping all that moisture in it's just a beautiful another beautiful moisturizer i feel like i'm saying beautiful a lot in this video but it really is and the packaging i love it comes with this metal spatula that sticks to the top so cool i love that because I lose everything in my life so it's nice that it, it keeps it together with that magnetic kind of fastener on the top there so yeah just loving this and then a makeup favorite so the it cosmetics your skin but better I did talk about this in a recent favorites but I wanted to mention it again because it has been working so beautifully just as like a day-to-day -day foundation even underneath masks because it's so lightweight and it sets you will definitely get some transfer. I've noticed yeah, pretty much on every mask I have has makeup on it, um, but not as much as some other dewier foundations I have. This gives a beautiful glow to the skin, but a skin-like glow. It's almost a little step up from a satin finish, a little bit more of a sheen. It is so beautiful on the skin. I just love it. Of course, I'm not wearing it today. I've been wearing it in every other video though. Today, I'm actually wearing the Morphe Skin Tint not in front of me I got ready downstairs today um that is I'm gonna link that one down below because that has been another favorite the Morphe skin tint oh my goodness like it just evens out the skin so well I am wearing concealer but the Morphe foundation on top of it it's just I don't know it blurs everything but it still feels super lightweight gives a little bit of a dewiness to the face. It feels like nothing on your face. It doesn't accentuate lines. Absolutely gorgeous. But if you want a little bit more coverage, the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better is beautiful. It's skin-like, medium to, I wouldn't say full. I definitely still need some concealer to cover up my melasma spots with this, but another one that feels like nothing on the face. It's just absolutely beautiful and I cannot get enough of this. So speaking of mask wearing, um, I'm still wearing my SPF, especially I'm noticing I have this melasma spot on the right side of my face, which is weird because when I'm driving, obviously the sun's hitting this side, but I'm like, okay, I still have to be vigilant about wearing my SPF, even with the mask on. So now I've made a habit, I'll put the SPF on, you know, where I usually put it, but now I make a habit of setting the SPF with this Color Science Sun Forgettable Brush on Sunscreen. This is an SPF of 50. It's full titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, so full mineral protection here. 
and it is so smoothing on the skin it doesn't accentuate wrinkles dryness and i'm loving it now because with the mask wearing it kind of you know how if you wear a, a foundation or any kind of makeup that doesn't exactly set it's going to rub off on the mask and you get even more friction on the mask but this allows you know for just for a smoother finish on your skin so it allows the mask to kind of slide around a little bit better and you're getting your spf protection it is just a beautiful mineral sunscreen i love this it's perfect to set makeup with and it coordinates really well with even if you're just wearing like a creamy sunscreen screen as well it's just a really nice product so i've been reaching for this a lot more these days and last but not least is a makeup tool that is four dollars i love this little guy this is by elf cosmetics this is their small stipple brush but i've been wearing a lot more cream blushes these days i don't really know why i think it's just you know i'm on the go it's just quick it's just a little something to make your skin look alive but this complements any cream blush or even like a the glossy cloud paints i use this a lot with and it is so perfect because it just gives a seamless application the bristles are packed really kind of sparse so i think that allows for more of like you know that uh, more diffuse application and it's soft on the skin and it just blends so so well so yeah i've been loving this for a cream blush application it just makes it so easy and it's four bucks you cannot beat the price of this guy i think you can get this at ulta i've seen it at target before i just i love this so much all right so now getting into fails first we're going to talk about a pixie beauty product you guys know my thing with pixie i feel like i either have holy grails from them or i'm just like what is this product doing in their line like what this is not necessary and this is one of those products <laughs> So they sent out a very generous PR package with um, a lot of products from this vitamin C line. And this is the vitamin C brightening perfector. This is a vitamin C infused complexion enhancer to blur and perfect to give skin a dewy radiant fit finish. So you can essentially use it as a primer or even like as a tinted moisturizer to even everything out. But my issue with this, this is so thick and heavy on the skin and it also has essential oils in here. There's um, I think orange peel oil and lemon peel oil and it burns my skin. I don't know what the heck's going on, but um, it just makes my skin feel extra sensitive. It doesn't call, cause redness, but it's doing something to my skin that I don't like. But not even just that, the heaviness and the thickness of this, I'm just not fond of. And you can see when you blend it out, it's super white. It almost feels like like a really bad mineral sunscreen. <laughs> like one that you wouldn't look twice at and wouldn't reach for again. It's so thick and it takes a while to blend in. It eventually does blend in your skin tone, but it takes a little bit. And there's still a cast there. You can see as compared to my other hand, there's still a little bit of a cast. Um, if you wipe it on something, you can see... I don't know if you can see that on the pad. It does have like a fair to light complexion tone on there, but you would have to be fair to light for this to work on your skin tone. And when I wear this on my face, I feel like I'm more light to light medium. It just, I don't know, just washes me out and it doesn't really bright my complexion. It just makes me look sickly if anything. And I just don't like how thick and heavy this feels on my skin. I'm just perplexed by this product. I just don't feel like this is necessary. I don't like that heavy feel it's slightly moisturizing but it has that heavy chalky mineral sunscreen feel i'm just not a fan of this guy so thank you to pixie for sending out this package it was so nice but unfortunately i just was not a fan of this um i did like there's a chapstick in that package that i really liked but this guy just just did not work for me and then next up was a big bummer for me this is by the brand versed this is their day maker micro crystal exfoliator um, you guys know I've always raved about Verse. There's not too many of their products that haven't worked for me. I just feel like their line is so affordable. They use good quality ingredients, effective ingredients, science-backed ingredients, which I really appreciate. But this exfoliator was just a little too harsh for my skin. They're plant-based um, micro crystals in here that are biodegradable. Um, but they are, they feel a little harsh on the skin and it's hard to wash off. So it feels good initially. You're like, okay, I'm getting some exfoliation here. But it takes a while to get all those micro crystals off. I find that it's really, it was hard for me to get them out of my hairline. And I just feel like I really need to go in hard when I'm washing my face with this. It was a little too intense for me and it felt a little too rough on my skin. Skin. I did have soft skin after using this, but I didn't appreciate that. I, like I had some redness too, and I think it was because I was working so hard to get off those microcrystals. 
So unfortunately, this did not work for me from Verse. So that concludes my favorites and fails for the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So many good products this month. These moisturizers, I cannot get enough of. I love that Verb Ghost Hair Oil. It's so beautiful. The new Biosense Cleanser. I'm loving. I think that that's going to be great for the winter time. And then, of course, this jewelry. Quick favorite from Anna Luisa. I love the Michelle set. And then these Huggy earrings. And then, of course, this tiny little statement um, ring that's going to be perfect for every day. I just love these pieces. And thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. Definitely check out their website. They're having a great sale. I think right now it's buy one, get one 40% off. And yeah, you guys will fall in love with their pieces. Everything is just great quality and trendy pieces that are not like too overdone. They're wearable pieces, which I really appreciate. And thanks to you guys for watching. You guys are always so sweet, so supportive. I always love reading your comments. And by the way, be sure to leave all your favorites and fails for the month. Um, I'd love to hear. Let us know what you're using, what you've not been loving so much. You guys always leave the best recommendations. And thanks again for everything. I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. And yeah, thanks for watching again. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I don't know why I'm doing like a sideways here. <laughs> Bye, guys.